Hello guys, gals, and NBs. Let's make this fun dancing lights thingy today. This is a pretty simple 3D instancing system. And there is a lot of possibility to make changes and have fun with it. And there's room for endless tweaking. It's also pretty stable and difficult to mess up. We also get to use one of my favorite chops. The hold chop. This chromatic aberration effect is also pretty. Let's get started. Let's look at the hold chop first. We need to start with something that creates a pulse. Let's use a keyboard in, and I'm gonna set it to the number 2 on my keyboard. And then we need a signal. Let's use a noise. Under the common tab. Turn time slice on. And let's hook this up to the whole chop. First input noise. The pulse goes into the second input. And this works like a sample and hold. It samples the signal from the first input and holds it when it receives a pulse. Let's turn the period of the noise down a little. And create some more channels in the noise. I will create three that I call Rx, Re, and Rz. For reasons that will be clear soon. Connect it to a null. Let's create a point cloud. Control B to open up the palette. Point clouds. And let's grab a point generator. Let's set it to box. For numeric points, I'm using 1000 squared. For 1 million. But you might need to lower or increase this number depending on what your machine can handle. A null. And let's view as points. Let's connect a mouth and a speed chop here. And let's drag those into the rotate in the point generator. Let's use the mouth to increase those values. I know that 25 is a good number. Now, anytime we press 2, it changes direction. Let's just render this. Add SOP. Add points. Convert SOP. Convert to particles per point. Into a geometry. A camera. A constant material. Drag it to the geometry. Render top. Set your resolution. I'm doing 1080 by 1920. Because I need that histogram material. But if you respect yourself, you can set it to horizontal resolution. 32-bit float red, green, blue, and alpha. A transform top. Set alpha to 1, and comp over background. In the GEO, turn instancing on. And let's drag this null into the translate. Set red, green, and blue. Let's also go to the constant material and turn blending on. Let's decrease that alpha. 
Okay. Let's start our feedback animation. The reason we use a feedback is so that our animation remembers its movement. I don't know if that clarified anything. Drop down a feedback top. And a null for the end. Drag it to the feedback. I also like to have one before the feedback called start. Let's plug in an over top. And let's actually put the start null under the feedback loop. And let's put a level here, before the end, and set the opacity to something like 0 0.99. One more keyboard in to reset the feedback loop. Now we can use a point transform top in the loop, and start messing around with it. But, let's use that second input of the point transform. In a new track, plug in a noise top after the over top. And plug it into both inputs. Offset 0. Amplitude 1. Turn up the period, and I'm not using harmonics. But feel free to play around with this. Under Output, set it to Only Noise. And plug that monochrome noise into the second input of the point transform. Now when we rotate in the point transform, it follows the shape of the 3D noise. This is neat, huh? Let's take this whole chop and connect it to a null. And let's drag those into the rotation. And we are multiplying these values by 45. I'm scaling the noise down a little to 0 0.5 and changing it to Perlin. And let's translate this noise with an abs time dot seconds times 0 0.08. Now when we press 2 we get new twirls, but really feel free to play around in this point transform. You can scale it, or translate it, or change the pivot. It is quite forgiving, so have fun. Just for fun, I'm gonna add three more channels in the noise to randomize the scale.
and it needs to be 1 plus the expression. Let's also drop down one more keyboard and chop. Set it to 3. And connect it to account. And reference that in the noise seed. So that we can change the noise seed with our keyboard. You don't need to follow along here. I'm just showing you that you can add another point transform here, or whatever, and play around with it. From now on it is just free playtime for a few minutes, you can try to follow along with me if you want to. But I'm just playing around with it. If you are happy with the movement, skip forward a few minutes, to the chapter called post-processing. Play around with the opacity for different effects. Play around with the noise for different effects. The only important thing in the noise is that it's a 3D noise, and the offset is set to zero. You can also play with the point generator. Now this is fun and pretty movement. Now, let's make this look like dancing lights and chromatic aberration. Let's drop down a feedback after the render. A level. And set the opacity to something like 0.6. And let's use an add top here. and drag it to the feedback. Let's drop down ARGB A delay here. Control B to open the palette. Image filters. And find the red, green, blue alpha delay. and drop it down after the level. Let's change these values to negative 3, 2, and 1. And connect it.
Let's step inside the R, G, B, a delay by double clicking it and move these nodes out of the way. Drop down a transform top here. And let's scale the red up a little. Let's do 1.02. Copy and paste it for the green. Scaled up by 1.015. And the blue, scaled by 1.01. I'm actually gonna scale these up a little to 1.03, 1.02, and 1.01. Just playing around with it a little. And of course, we need some bloom here. Bloom with alpha. And let's copy paste our R, G, B, a delay. Set it to negative 15, 10, and 5. And let's scale these up quite a lot. 1.3, 1.2, and 1.1. Maybe. And let's add it back to our image. Some tweaking of alpha and opacity. Some playing around in the camera. And then we have these fun dancing lights. Have fun with this. These tutorials are made possible by all of my Patreons. You can find the project files there. I am very grateful to everyone that support my. Thank you. Cheers y'all.